Are you lacking love? Looking for something to fill the void within you? Well then keep looking. You're not going to find what you're looking for from me. But if you're looking for the love key, the key you need to open up the door to the Tower of Love, then you're in the right place. So, the love key is in the Queen's Garden past the Mapman Cornifer. In the middle, on the right side of the Queen's Garden. So from the bench to the left of Cornifer, head down the breakable floor to the right, and down to the left into the next area. From here drop down and stick to the right. From here if you go to the left and jump on the platforms and avoid the spikes, and follow the path around, while avoiding the fly traps, you'll end up at a lever, hit it, and head on up. Break the wall, and head into the open doorway. Head up and over to the right, drop down on the platforms carefully, and make your way to the right, into the next area. Now go to the right, and into the small pathway with an acid pond. You need to have Isma's tear to swim through it, but on the other side, you'll be assaulted by a couple traitor mantises. Killing them will unlock a gate, and on the other side is the love key. This love key is used to open the door to the Tower of Love which is connected to the Kingdom's Edge and the City of Tears, inside of which is a boss named the Collector, and at the end of the tower is the Collector's Map, which shows you the location of all worm friends. Yeah, listen, uh, we fucked up. But I'll end the video here. I hope you found it helpful, and if you somehow made it to this point, then thanks for sticking around. And if you did happen to find this video helpful, or maybe even enjoyable, then please like and subscribe. It would really help out the channel and mean a lot to me. Until next time.